Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to sit down and I want to do like a throwback Thursday. And I want to use like some of my old makeup, like makeup I haven't used in a long time, makeup that I've purchased a long time ago and haven't used because I keep buying makeup. So I've already prepped my skin. I purchased that um, Marc Jacobs, the um, Hydra moisturizer that I told you guys about. So I have that on and I did put on a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter because my skin has been incredibly dry. So I'm going to go in with the AJ Crimson um, His Cream Foundation in the shade 4.5. Now AJ Crimson, he's a man of color and he has his own makeup line and I love this foundation so much. Um, you can like see him on Instagram. Sometimes, you know, he'll do like Instagram videos and stuff. And I know he does makeup on a lot of um, black celebrities. And um, what I like about his website, especially if you, you own MAC foundations, his foundations are comparable to the MAC foundation. So this 4.5 is comparable to um, Studifix Fluid in NC50, which is my shade it comes in this little compact and um it's very creamy and as you can see i've repurchased this i repurchased this once already and um when you repurchase it you don't have to um repurchase like the whole pack you can repurchase it you can get like um you can get a uh, what am i saying you can get a refill so you don't like have to repurchase the whole um compact All right, for concealer, I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is like the first concealer I think I ever purchased or owned. I really think it is. And I have it in the shade NC45. I have not used this in so long because, of course, constantly purchasing concealers. But this used to be like my OG, OG concealer. I used to wear this like every day with my, um, I got a hair on my face, with my MAC um, Studifix Foundation. I really forget, forgot how nice this found, this concealer is and the foundation. All right, so I'm gonna cream contour with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick. I haven't used this in a while either. And this is in the shade, this is like the darkest shade. This is, um, well, it's not a contour stick. It's, um, it's a foundation that I used to use a lot. And I used it as I mean to contour. I think this is in the shade um, Expresso, is it? Yeah, it's in the shade. It's in the shade Expresso. All right, so before I go in and I set my under eye and I put any kind of powder of my, on my face, I want to go in with Domesta Myrix. This is her Dew Wet Balm. In, it's in hot water. And this just gives you like a wet look. And of course, I've spoken about Domesta Myrix here on my channel. She's also another makeup artist, a woman of color who started her own, uh, own line. And I love her stuff. And I'm just going to go on my cheekbones with this and just go for that nice wet look 
I am so beyond sorry about my nails, guys. You know I have the um, UV gel. I got the clipper, I clipped it, and it still looks crazy. And I just, I guess I just have to wait for it to um, to grow out. All right, so for my underarm, I'm going in with my Huda Beauty, her baking powder in the shade Blondie. I haven't used this in, oh my goodness, I have no idea. And a lot of, ugh, I did not miss the smell. I, you know, you, I'm pretty sure you guys know this has such a, re it's so fragrance. It's, it's just lunacy. Oh, I forgot how light it was. Okay. But I remember when I used it, I remember the first time I used this, I, uh, my channel was very new and, um, I reviewed this powder and um, I think I had put too much and the comments were so vicious like it was so vicious and I remember um, <laughs> taking taking the video down and I think a lot of times I assume like these powders they've you know they've been sitting there they're good powders but I think after that experience I think I associated this powder with it, it had such a bad association for me. I felt like I stopped. I felt like I actually stopped reaching, you know, for these powders. All right, you guys know I like to take a break from my face once I get to the stage, the start of my eyes, and I'm throwing it all the way back to my Anastasia, her, the modern renaissance. Renaissance palette, renaissance, renaissance, however you say it. And I remember when this launched, I fell in love with it and I'm not a person I love like just gold and browns but I fell in love with the nice pinks and stuff in the palette and I figured you know what I'm gonna throw it back to this so I'm gonna go in with the shade what is this called red ochre I remember I, this used to be my favorite um crease shade I brought you guys in closer so you can see yes yeah, so I'm going in with a uh, red ochre and these they're so pigmented and very very like easy to work with but um, there's a lot of fallout though, at least my palette. That's the one thing I don't like, the, the matte shades. Like when you put um, when you put your brush in there, it kicks up like quite a bit. But I love the shades in this palette. And I should leave this out now on my vanity so that maybe I'll reach for it some more. Then for my lid, I'm gonna go in with Primavera this nice light champagne gold color and I have to use my finger guys and um, sorry about you know I'm I guess I should just stop apologizing for my nails at this point because it's not gonna change anything I really have to work and on like learning how to do a cut crease because this would have been like a great great time to do um, a cut crease this is such a pretty color nice champagne -y color so I'm gonna put this matte shade on my brow bone because I'm gonna put some highlight on my brow bone over top of that and this is called golden okra and this one has so much so much fallout like the fallout is crazy on that one All right, so I'm gonna powder my face and I'm using my MAC, my MSC. And I have this in the shade dark and look, it's like mostly pan. This used to be my favorite powder ever. And I repurchased this so many times and I'm, I probably will. Let me see how much of this I can actually get on my beauty blender but um if you guys own this powder you know what I'm what I'm talking about it's like so perfect I don't know why I don't use it more often well I know why I'm using everything else but it's never ever cakey never cakey and Although it's not glowy or shimmery or anything like that, it just has like this 
nice feel and look to it. I'm gonna powder contour with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I have it at NW58. And I even popped out back the e.l.f. brush I used to use when I used to use this powder. This is their Flawless Face Brush. I used to use it to do this contour, the powder contour. And the, the Studio Fix powders are nice too. I just got like, I never tried like the lighter one for all over. I just got this one to, um, this one to contour and I'm gonna put some like around my forehead because why not? I've been loving how that looks as well. Like putting, I feel like I, Put a little too much powder here and it's kind of like stuck <laughs> to my forehead. Wait a minute. Yep, why isn't it moving? It looks like it's just stuck there. But you know what though? When I used to use that powder, I used to use I used to use it with a brush. So I used to use like my um flat kabuki. So maybe this is not a Pressed powders probably aren't the best powders to use with a beauty blender. All right. So, you know, I like to have like a little illumination, like a little illuminating powder. And I'm going to go back with my Laura Mercier. Her, um, this is the glow version of her very popular. So this is her, what? Her translucent powder, but the glow version in medium deep. I haven't used it in so long. Look at me. I don't even remember the name of it now. And I'm just gonna go around my face if I like to do with any type of, and I like to use these powders as like, I call them finishing powders. And I like using it with a big fluffy brush brush so that um it doesn't like get stuck like how <laughs> the mac powder get, got stuck here and just kind of blend it around my face all right for blush i am going in with nars's um orgasm love this blush and you know I don't like color, so this is perfect for me. It just gives like a nice pinkish kind of sheen. And I, I don't know, I just love the way it looks on the cheeks. All right, I'm gonna set my face and then come back with highlighter. All right, for highlighter, I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Chrome. These highlighters are so good. And this is in the shade, I have it in Molten Topaz. It's like a nice bronzy shade. And they're like very, I feel like my face is extra damp. They're like very smooth and creamy. Oh, this is nice. And I'm gonna put some on my brow bone as well, over top of that shade right here. I haven't used this eyeshadow palette in so long. I forgot how light the Primavera shade is, the one that I put on my lids. I haven't used such a light shade on my lids in a long time. All right, so I'm gonna finish up with my lips. I'm wearing um, ColourPop's lip pencil in CTRL. And who remember Max World lipsticks? This was, this was such a popular lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with Whirl. And this is like a beautiful pinky nude lipstick. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I really enjoyed doing this, like bringing out um, some of my old makeup and putting it on and um i think they they all look really nice i really i'm loving this world lipstick again i used to wear this so much 
and um i'm definitely gonna try to continue the series like like a throwback thursday i think i like the idea anyway guys i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys